What's going on everybody? Welcome back. This is just going to be a short little itty bitty DIY tip of the week I guess we'll call this. I might do these once a week actually. So today we're going to focus on the collection cup on your skimmer. Most of them have the port that comes straight down. Some of them have a 90 on them. But what we're going to do is a couple of people have asked me, you know, what I do with this long hose because I have a valve on the end of mine. I don't really like to take the collection cup off so much, you know, maybe once a month at the most. So, if, you know, for some reason I get a little bit of a, a wet skim and I want to drain this out just in case it overflows. I have a valve on the end of this and I'm going to just show you guys how to do it. You're not going to need much stuff to make this work. So, most of the time they come with um, a rubber hose or a silicone hose for the drain. A lot of companies uh, might expect you to run this to a separate collection cup. So today what I'm going to show you is, is you need a couple fittings. If your skimmy or collection cup has a port that goes straight down, um, I recommend getting one of these. This is a quarter inch quick connect 90. It's meant for like an ice maker line, refrigerator line. Um, John Geist is the brand of these and this is a John Geist quarter inch quarter turn valve so and you need a little piece of quarter inch tubing I chose red because that's the uh, theme that's gonna be going on here soon and it's something to cut it I have actual cutters outside but and a zip tie I chose white to keep the theme going so pretty much what you want to do is it's simple sometimes these are a little bit smaller and it's a little bit harder to do so what you do is get a, a cup of really really hot water you soak the end in it for like a good minute. Take it out real quick and it's going to be nice and soft. And then what you'll be able to do is just stretch it over the end as best you can. Now luckily this, the one they give me here is pretty big. So you get it on as far as you can. Now you don't have to worry about too much because um, this is pretty, you know, it, it grips it pretty well and you're not going to really have to worry about your skimmate, I guess, leaking through. But what I like to do, get it on there as far as I can. And if you want, you can put a zip tie on it to make it um, like a hose clamp, I guess, to just give it a little bit more of a, a better leak detection. So mine's going to be facing this way. So I want to make it so that this is on the back side. Clamp it up. Very simple. You get it on the end here. And like I said, you probably don't even need to do this. That's it. Now you can use a razor to cut it or a pair of snips. I actually have a pair of snips. Let me get them. A pair of snips. Okay, that's out of the way. Now you want your tubing. It doesn't have to be long. So you have all this extra, right? But I always say when you're doing anything with tubing, you know, give yourself, um, cut it longer than you need it to be. Because you can always cut it shorter, but you can't make it longer without a coupling. So that's perfect. It's just about perfect. I might even be able to take a little bit more off. Let's see. Yeah. I can actually take a little bit more off. That's just because I'm picky. There we go. Alright, so you have your 90. Get it on there. Back and forth, back and forth. There you go. So that's essentially what it's going to look like. It's got a pretty good clean look, you know. You can hide this on the back side. And I can still turn this, you know, when I need to. Then, a piece of quarter inch tubing. It's just a quick connect. You just push it in. And then you can make this as long as you want. I'll probably, eh, this should work for me. I can always shorten it. And then quarter turn off, that's it. 
you'll be able to bend it out over to put it under a cup and so on and so forth. So let's take this upstairs and see how it looks. All right, so we're up here at the skimmer. Let's put this in place. Collection cup on. So now, when the collection cup gets full, I have this sticking right here. It's kind of perfect, exactly how I want it. And like I said, you can always turn this this way, get it out of the way, and then when you need to do it, you just bend it over. The silicone tubing is nice and flexible. It's actually just cut just the perfect height. Let's see, do I have enough room with a cup? Yep, I can just take a cup, just for giggles, put some water in here. So we'll just act like this is some nasty skimmate. So all you gotta do is get all the skimmate out of there, and I'm good to go. And look at that. Works pretty good. All right, well, hope this might have helped somebody down the road, give you an idea to do something like that at home. Tilt this down. It's a nice, easy quarter turn, and that's it. Now this is where you'd have all your skimming. So, hope this was a good video for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Later.